Hello, good morning, grade 5. Welcome to my channel. So today, this is uh, my first video lesson about our topic. So uh, today, uh, October 19, uh, we will have our another lesson or another topic about this you know, so week 3 to 5 so this lesson ah, nagka-cover siya ng tatlong weeks okay so the title of our lesson or we will discuss um, I will discuss first and then uh, afterwards I have a video experiment about the presence and absence of oxygen so I will discuss this it first para malaman nyo rin po kung ano yung nilalaman ng ating module sa week weeks 3 to 5 so changes in material so um, i-congrats ko pala kayo kasi natapos nyo yung ating week 1 at saka week 2 dahil kahit na mahirap but kinaya Charo. okay so changes in material so in this lesson you will investigate okay when we say investigate more on performance tayo dahil mag-investigate tayo ng uh, experiment natin we will drive a conclusion and we drive an uh, uh, observation we drew up we gather an information about our experiment and then we will investigate the changes that happen in materials under two conditions which are so number one ito yung gagawin natin today the presence or lack of oxygen and number two the application of heat so madali lang yung application we heat up uh, nagawa na natin yan in our previous years okay so when we say presence or lack of, or absence of oxygen when we say presence merong um air or oxygen when we say lack so wala wala pong oxygen na involved so ngayon iko compare natin yung dalawang experiment natin, si experiment 1 at saka si experiment 2 experiment, experiment 1 having an oxygen and then an experiment 2 without oxygen okay, gets madali lang po ito, kaso nga lang kailangan natin ng um, preparation and how to conduct this experiment okay, in our previous lesson you discovered the properties of materials tells about their uses or importance so, di ba yung useful and harmful of the of uh, the materials? Uh, or whether they are useful and harmful when these materials combine with other substances. So, they will undergo changes in their properties. So, there are two ways. The physical change. So, pag binasan nyo pa yun into another, in, sa another page, meron physical change chemical change, mga ganun po. So, sa grade 4, meron na tayong ganyan, yung bending, freezing, boiling, and melting, um, scratching, mga lahat ng mga exerted natin ng mga force that is a physical change kapag with chemical involved, so that is a chemical change, you change ng color and you change in ng state, ganun po. So, these pictures below, ito na po, and Yan po yung discussion, but in, uh, it is um, understandable naman that uh, di na natin masyado natin siyang i-explain kasi nadali lang. So, dito tayo yung mag-focus sa video experiment natin kasi I'll make this video to those um, pupils or mga ano yung mga nakalimutan nila na meron sa parang uh, experiment today but hindi sila naka-prepare so I'll make this video to those not able to have an materials inside or any and available in their house or kung, kung na lack na short end of time or um, basta kung meron mang mga merong nangyari sa buhay nyo, tapos nakalimutan nyo yung mga, mga biglaang ganun. So, I'll prepare this for you guys. Dahil ganyan ko kayo ka love. Charot. So, yan na po. So, yung sinabi ko kanina, yung physical change, ito yung chemical change, yung nag-change ng color, nag-change yung state, ganun po. 
from solid to liquid to liquid to liquid to mga ganun. So, madali lang siya. Madali lang siya, but in our experiment, ano, mas surprise kayo, Charlotte. Um, ginawa ko yung experiment last Saturday. Today is Monday. October 12 ko itong ginawang video na to, Pero mapanood nyo sa October 19. Okay, so it, this is our first vid, uh, video experiment. So the title of our learning test. Ito na yung gagawin nyo today. The presence and absence of oxygen. So in, in so this is our, our ano, in investigating the changes that happen in materials under the condition that there is a presence or absence of oxygen. So, you will need the following materials. Okay, so, one piece apple. One piece of apple. Kahit maliit o malaki, ganun. Kung ano lang yung available sa bahay, pwede na yun. Kung meron kayong, kung wala kayong apple, pero meron kang namang eggplant, pwede din yun. Kung wala ka namang eggplant, pero meron kang potato, pwede din yun. So, Ah, uh, pwede din po siya kahit wala kahit walang banana diyan, pwede din yung banana diyan na kung meron kayo available sa bahay niyo. Okay? And then any vitamin C tablet. So mapapanood niyo yung video ko. Uh, kung meron kayong mga vitamin C tablet diyan, mga silin, mga kung ano yung mga vitamin C na iniinom niyo, kung wala naman din, uh, meron naman mga alternative uh, vitamin C for the fruits. Okay, and then, three clear glass or bottle. Pwede kayong mag-recycle ng uh, one, mga 1.5, pwede nyo i-cut, tapos nangalin nyo nyo lang yung uh, ano ng coke dun. Nangalin nyo lang yung red, pwede na yon. Kung wala kayong babasagin na clear glass, pwede din yung bottle na transparent. Okay? Then, chopping board. Kung meron chopping board, or pwede kahit ano, basta with the assistance of the elder members of the family. Gets? And then, another is the, ito yung pinakamadali, <laughs> kasi meron naman tayong tubig, di ba? Okay, 500 ml or 2 glasses of water. So, meron tayong mga tap water. Uh, kahit na hindi yung mineral, wag nyo ano yung, wag, wag yung mineral kasi mahal yun. Kahit nila yung nasa ano lang, yun, pwede na yun ha. Kasi alam naman natin yung panahon today. Knife. Okay, pag gumamit ka nito, kailangan extra careful. Very, very careful tayo while using knife. Or gusto nyo yung uh, nanay nyo or tatay or ate muna ang uh, papakat nyo. Dahil napakadelikado yung gumamit ng knife. Okay lang kung nandyan yung uh, mga ate kuya ganun. Okay, so ito yung note, very important to. Conduct an experiment in the kitchen or an available place that is safe to keep the experiment set up, clean, safe and manageable. So, follow the steps below. So, ito na yung mga gagawin. Sundin lang natin to. Super easy. Okay? So, dahil papagawin ko rin kayo ng video ng ganito para sa ating performance. Okay? Kung Kung hindi naman kaya, pwede, uh, okay lang naman din. Hindi ito sa pilitan. Okay. So, you read this. Label edge glass with marker or write a paper or glass A with water, glass B with vitamin C placed under a, each glass. So, this will help you monitor with glass will undergo changes in color and the presence of the, or the absence of oxygen. So, kailangan natin i-observe yung mga reaction within our uh, experiment. Okay, and now, see the illustration below. Um, this is a glass A with water. Glass B with water. <laughs> glass B with water, vitamin C, a tablet. <laughs> Ganon. So, dapat dalawa. Tapos, naka, may pangalan. Kung wala kayong marker, pwede naman ding magano lang kayo ng uh, alternative din na dalawa lang naman yun. Hindi eh. nyo naman ma makakalimutan. Okay, so next, so, ito na, step 2. Cut an apple or eggplant or potato into two slices. Two slices. Dalawa lang. In a knife, in a chopping board. Seek help. Ito na po. Yung very, eh, ano. Seek help from elder or brother, your sister, to set up an experiment that will create bonding between you and your elder member of the family. Okay, so, step 3, part 3, 
fourth full of water in each pre-leveled glass. Uh, kung malaki yung, kung sa tingin nyo naman malaki yung uh, container nyo, sa tingin ko malaki talaga yung container nyo, pwede naman half lang, hindi three-fourth. Kahit half lang. Kung sobrang liit naman din, pwede punuin. Ganon. Okay, so now, fourth step, put one slice of apple in, or eggplant or saging or potato in each glass or bottle. So, five, crush vitamin C or tablet, put it in into the second glass. So, yun lang, si class A, water lang, si class B, you know, vitamin C. Sixth, observe what happened in the materials after 48, 48 hours. Ito na yung sinasabi ko, kaya ginawa ko tong video na to, nung nabasa ko siya, kailangan siya two days ahead na ma-prepare mo yung uh, experiment mo kasi kung Monday tayo Wednesday nyo pa magagawa paano pag merong marami kayong gagawin sa Wednesday, di ba? so yan, ginawa ko to para sa inyo dahil love ko kayo charot okay, so 7, write your observation in your answer sheets bawal yung notebook, answer sheets okay, now kailangan nyo to i-copy yung table 1 investigating materials you have to copy all of this and then after that, you have to answer what is your observation in glass A and glass B after 48 hours. Okay, when we say 48 hours, two days yan, ha? Freshly cut, apple, eggplant, potato, and glass A, kung ano na observe mo, uh, apple materials after 48 hours. Ito yung bago, ito yung after 48. So, ito yung before and after. Yes. So, you have to answer the guide questions din. Okay, what is the color of the freshly cut apple, eggplant, potato, and in a glass A and B? So, kailangan mo lang the color. Kung ano yung color niya. Sa before. Uh, sa before. Then, number two, what is the color in apple, eggplant, potato after 48 hours? So, kailangan uh, what is the color after two, two days? Sa glass in a glass B. Then, number three, what is the... Uh, what is the effect of exposing the slice of the materials in oxygen in glass A and B after 48 hours? So, what is the effect daw? Yung uh, hinayaan lang natin yung jar open para mang ano yung ano, then without an oxygen. What is the effect of putting vitamin C or vitamins acts as an antioxidant that prevents further oxidation of apple and eggplant in an apple, eggplant and a glass B? So, titingnan mo rin siya bakit yung isang glass merong vitamin C, yung isa naman wala. Anong, um, ano, what is the effect? What is the effect of the vitamin C um, as a reactor sa chemical reaction doon sa ating apple? So, ito na po yun, si glass A, glass B, after 48 hours. So, you must draw or you take picture, then i-post mo sa group natin. Okay, sa group natin, sa PB1ES, grade 5, is uh, school year 2020-2021, ganun. I-picturean mo, dapat you have to take picture yung before and after para makompare mong madali. Kung ayong mag-drawing, picturean mo, then i-post. Kung gusto mong mag-drawing, i-drawing mo. Simple. Okay. So, that's all. That's all for today. Then, you'll watch my video. Let's jump it. Let's jump it to this. Baboos. Keep safe. And see you next time. And always pray. Bye-bye. Vitamin C. So, um, lemon is rich in vitamin C. So, marami siyang vitamin C dito. Okay, so... Mamaya, ipakita ko sa inyo kung paano siya uh, gawin tong experiment natin. So, start na po tayo. Okay, class. So, andito na. Nagkinat ko na yung ating lemon. And then, dahil wala akong marker, wala akong vitamin C. Ang vitamin C is ito yung uh, lemon lang. Then, ibig sabihin, ito yung glass A, ito yung glass B. So, ilagay ko yung dito yung hot na lemon. And then, dito ko nilagay yung patalan, uh, marker or uh, patatal, palatandaan na siya ay water with vitamin C or lemon. Okay, so start na po tayo. Dito sa glass A, magpo, magpo -field, lang, field lang natin siya ng water. Okay, dahan-dahan lang. 
Ayan yung water. Same amount of water lang ang ilagay natin. Okay, now. So, dahil ito si glass A, ito si glass B. Si glass A, water lang. And si glass B is water with vitamin C or lemon. Okay, so, proceed tayo like ito ng knife. So, now, ito na yung apple natin. Kung wala kayong talong, kung wala kayong potato, kung wala kayong saging, um, anything. And then, ikakat natin to in two pieces. So, then, put one slice or eggplant or potato or anything or bananas. So, dito muna tayo sa um, glass with water. Then, glass with Glass B with vitamin C or lemon. Okay, so, saan yung So, ito din, after 2 days na din. So, sabay natin siya ni, tawag nito, sabay natin siya, tingnan after 2 days or sa Monday.